Hey, 918 ers it's Geek Boy. And as we've talked about before, 2019 is going to be a banner year for a lot of our favorite genre properties. And even though we've said this before, I think Fanboys 918 has decided to celebrate it by taking a look back at some of the milestones that have brought us to where we are now. Now, most people would probably trace our current development of cinema to Star Wars when it was released in 1977. However, I would posit that 1979 was actually a more pivotal year. Because, see, the studios started chasing that Star Wars cheddar in the wake of its unexpected success. And as, as a process and as a result of that, they greenlit a lot of projects that probably never would have gotten made any other way. And so, after about two years of In the Pipeline, those films manifested themselves, and many of them have become interwoven into the fabric of our geek lives. And we began this retrospective with an analysis last month of Star Trek The Motion Picture. A divisive film, to be sure, but one that, in my opinion, is aged pretty well. However, this time, we're going to take a much different route, because today is our very first ever Fanboys 918 Summit, and we've been blessed with the opportunity to bring together not only the founding members of Fanboys 918, but also many of our transplants to other area codes as well. And what better way to celebrate this gathering than to discuss a film that is not only universally beloved, but it is near and dear to all of our hearts, and that is going to be 1979's all-time classic Ridley Scott's original Alien. So joining me today are all these members of Fanboys 918. So sit back, relax, and enjoy on this episode of The Talking Geek, which starts right now. Hey guys, welcome back. As I said in the intro, I'm Geek Boy, and I'm sitting at this table surrounded by an embarrassment of riches. Uh, of this group you're gonna meet, there's only one of us in our entire fan group, and unfortunately he's directing it right now, so he's not even on camera, who qualifies as an industry professional. Uh, the rest of us are just straight up fans with day jobs to go about our lives, and we are incredibly passionate about the things that we love. And I feel beyond blessed to be presiding over this, what I hope will be, uh, the first of many of our Fanboys 918 summits. Uh, but since we don't know what the future is going to bring, I am not going to waste this opportunity to tell all you guys how much I love and respect all of you. And I'm glad that you're here. And um, I'm going to just go down the table and introduce everybody. To my far left is uh, Buddy Brown, the IT geek. Uh, he's been uh, my friend for over 30 years. He was one of the founding members of Fanboys 918. He has uh, sit through a lot of bad movies with me. <laughs> And uh, we've critiqued him a lot, and uh, glad to have him here. OG, thank you. Thank you. Uh, to my immediate left is a man who has given a good portion of his life to serve and protect our country, and is, and is an incredible artist in his own right. Uh, this is Mr. Ronald Brown. Glad you're here, sir. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you. To my immediate right uh, is another one of my partners in crime for the, over 30 years. He, uh, he is an accomplished musician on his own. He is a hell of a mechanic. He is a published poet. And uh, Jay, the blues man, Jay Pyatt, is here with us. I'm glad you're here, sir. I'm very glad to be here. And uh, moving to his right uh, is uh, Sprout, Mr. Jason Barker. Thank goodness he didn't mind us calling him Sprout because it's going to make this a lot easier when I say Jason and three guys in the room and say what. Um, <laughs> anyway, he is also a very accomplished artist and has also spent a good portion of his life serving and protecting this great country. So I'm glad you're here, sir. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And to his right is our, what? Would this be our second generation alien fan or our third generation alien fan? Same. Second generation alien fan, Mr. Ashton Barker. Glad you're here, sir. He's going to offer his perspectives on this as well. And you're, I heard you're pretty jazzed about doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Son of my God. Yeah. Whoa, calm it down, man. Calm it down. You just went a little crazy. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Right. Yes. And joining us in post production and the production side, as I said, is uh, our industry professional, Mr. Dwayne Robinson, who is behind the camera over there directing us. I don't know if we, we'll probably get some B-roll of him getting his hands up. And joining us here behind on the panel are, it's the best part, the support staff, Turtle Gal, Stephanie Hines, and the Wonder Midget, Laura Finley. They are, we couldn't have done this without either one of them as well. And we also have Mr. Stephen Brown over here who is waiting, whose job will be announced later. Uh, he's basically, he's gonna do whatever we need him to do. So he wraps cable like nobody's business. That's true. That's true. Okay. He wraps. Oh, <laughs> no, he does not. No, he does not do that. But he can make a hell of a cup of joke. <laughs> he's, he's a white a, guy. He, he's our own personal barista. There you go. 